This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, own boy Josh, back at you, and today we're taking a look at the Astro from Algvabe. But before we get into this review, I do want to take the time to remind you that we all have a part to play in the fight against Big Pharma, Big Tobacco, the FDA, and the deeming regulations that are looming over our heads. That means that if you're on social media, paint the best possible image of the vape community that you can. If you're a shop or a shop owner, remember to remind your customers they need to get in this fight if they want to keep vaping. Follow all your calls to action, including those to support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. We all have a part to play. So, advice from Og Vape. Uh, scary. <laughs> I never know what is going to hold the device from Og Vape. Sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's... This one doesn't disappoint. This one's actually pretty good. It's a side airflow and bottom airflow RDA. It's actually like the side airflow is like extra cloud production. It's all it really does. It doesn't direct itself at the coils in any way. It just adds airflow to the chamber. And they say it's a mini. Now, that's what I like about it. That's the thing. That's what I really like about it because it is a mini. But it doesn't have to be. Like right now, it's like a standard RDA, you know, which is standard. You know, it's got a big old shuff cap on the top. It's an average sized RDA. It's a pretty normal sized RDA overall. It's not mini, it's kind of tall. It looks like a regular RDA, right? That's cool about it. Now, what's also cool, and this is actually pretty interesting, it also comes with this alternate top cap. So the top cap says min and max on it, right? Yeah. It's like just like volume on like a stereo or some shit. It even has like little dots next to it to show you how it progresses and from minimum to maximum. A top cap normally would just sit like right there, right? Just like that. And it only goes down to about there. But watch this. Yeah, that thing is pretty cool. So now it's adjusted in size with the top cap. So the top cap, instead of being like down to there in the RDA, now it's like down to there in the RDA, and now it's sunken down into the top cap, like down to here. And when it's sunken down to the top cap, it's also blocked off that side airflow completely. Let me show you what I mean. Basically, when it's all the way down, it's like right there, like on top of the deck, right? And that's pretty much like where a mini RDA would sit, like something like the Derringer, the Bambino, it would be right down on top of the deck like that. But when it's all the way open, you got that. So in my eyes, it's kind of like with the Astro, you're getting like three different, completely different RDAs. You, know, you get you know, the big old cloud chasing, what I call it cloud chasing, eh, maybe not quite cloud chasing, the airflow holes aren't quite big enough for that, but you get some pretty big clouds when it's all the way open with the shelf cap. Pretty healthy clouds there. Would I bring it to a cloud comp? No, but it, it's good in cloud chasing. And you also get kind of a standard RDA because this one, when you have this piece and this top cap, you don't have a removable drip tip. You just have this. But it doesn't really get warm. It works very, very well. A little bit cloud chasey, but it vapes just like a regular RDA does. But you can also open the screw all the way up so that ceiling is driven down into the barrel and then you've got a mini RDA disguised as a regular RDA because it vapes just like a mini RDA. Denser clouds, more flavorful vape. We'll lower the heat a little bit. I like to lower the heat a little bit when it's you know in the mini mode. Maybe about 85 watts before we were at closer to 100 watts. Yeah. That, that's good. I mean, it's, when it's in that mini mode, it's like a denser, more flavorful, warmer vape. It vapes like a mini RDA, but if you ask me, it vapes better than a mini RDA because no spitback. No spitback because that chamber is lowered down like that. Rather than having the drip tip sitting right on top of the deck like you do with most mini RDAs, drip tip is up high. So you're not getting that heat burning your lips, you're just having the heat in your lungs, and you're not having any spit back because it's not right above the deck like it is in the Mini RDA. Pretty smart. I like that. And the deck is pretty cool too because it has kind of a TM squared kind of thing going on. It's, you know, two posts, and each post has a post hole side by side, except 
They did it a little bit differently. They staggered the posts on it so you don't have to bend your lead so that they'll fit properly. And they made them wide so it'll accommodate you know, wider wire and they just make them round post holes. The build I have in here is a dual chain coil. It's a pair of twisted strands that are twisted together the opposite way, creating sort of a chain sort of look to it. Ohms out at 0.15 ohms. I believe I used 28 gauge for this. The AugVape Astro is one of those places where I think AugVape really succeeded. I think that this is a really versatile device, fun device to play around with because you have all these different airflow options and airflow styles. And you can actually rotate, should be able to rotate the top cap. I feel like it's the resistances on the O-rings are very, very tough. So, that's kind of a con because in order for me to adjust the height of the ceiling, I feel like I need to take it off and adjust it like this and then put it down. I feel like if the O-rings were a little bit looser, then I wouldn't have to do that because it's kind of a struggle for me to do that here. And I can't see what level that chimney is at except for it through these air holes in the side. So right now, I turn a little bit more. Yeah, like I said, it's really hard to turn, you know, while it's on there. I wish that, that was a little bit easier. Yeah, so now like that air hole is about halfway open. We got about halfway open on the bottom. You can customize it that way, turning this top cap. And if the O-rings were just a little bit looser, I could turn it more efficiently while it was on there. I feel like right now I have to take it off and adjust it and then put it back in, which is messy. You know, there's juice all over it and all that. And I don't like that so much, but 
I like it for its versatility, that I can do that, that I can completely customize that and I can open them at the top just a little bit or close them off or open them all the way and adjust the height of that ceiling. That's really, really cool. It's a very comfortable, comfortable chuff cap, and I like it in that mode a lot also. I don't only use this piece, you know, I find myself reaching for the chuff cap oftentimes as well. Which is kind of different, you know, normally with an RDA, I'll usually settle. Either I like the chuff cap, or I like, you know, the drip tip adapter, or drip tip top cap, or whatever it comes with. So I'll either go with an adapter, or I'll go with the chuff cap, or I'll go with the original drip tip. I usually just settle on one, I find myself constantly switching between the one with the adjustable ceiling and the chuff cap because I like them both, which is unusual for me. It's good flavor in every configuration. It's just like, I feel like I'm adjusting heat, adjusting how dense that flavor is and how much heat I'm getting with it, whether I'm going with the chuff or the top cap with the adjustable ceiling. The way I adjust that ceiling determines the heat I'm getting and the denseness of the flavor, but it's a good flavor all the way around. It's a fun RDA. It's unique. It has an interesting feature set. A lot of features that you don't see in a lot of other RDAs. Adjustable ceilings? <laughs> I think that's so cool. Anyway, guys, that is the Astro RDA from Vape. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors.